Hi, I'm Will. I'm a Rural Engagement Officer for Men Turn Morn, and today I want to talk about Starlink. Quio, you wrote the Day on the Holiday Cottages, um, and you opted to buy Starlink because of the slow broadband speed it different did we? Can you tell us a bit more about Starlink? So sure, you're quite right, of course, it was difficult for us yeah. in the past to, to, to run our business from this rural setting that we're yeah. in, you know. Yeah. Um, the, the people help me all work from home and what have you, so we depend on the cloud, all our systems are up in the cloud and what have you. So it was frustrating, if I'm honest, with the low speeds we were getting, yeah, especially here on the farm. Uh, and then Starlink came along, um, I just a, a friend mentioned that it was an option. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm not sure exactly what the yeah. technology is, if I'm yeah. honest, but I think it's um, Elon Musk, the, the owner yeah. of Tesla, has, has thrown these satellites all over the world, the yeah. low-level satellites from what I understand, and um, these the satellite dishes, satellites have been available for a while, but these new satellite dishes that he supplies connect to these low-level uh, um, low satellites. It sounds fancy, but does it actually guarantee a stable and fast internet connection? From personal experience, it's been working very well. I think we've had it for about four or five months now, and it's worked seamlessly for us. And if we look at the speeds here, um, running a quick test online, we, we typically will get up, well, up to we can get up to 200 megs of download wow. and about 20 megs of upload. And it's that upload speed that's great for us. Um, we do a lot of videos for our holiday cottages, um, some quite nice videos that we like to upload to YouTube and social media, and of course. Um, they're only three minutes long, but that in the past that would take well six to eight hours sometimes to upload to YouTube. Whereas with this new system now, we can do that in a matter of minutes. It's been fantastic for us. It seems like a great solution then, but is setting it up a long process, especially if you're not very technical? You know, that was one of the best things about about this system. I think the, the dish arrived. We ordered it online. I think it costs about four hundred and thirty nine pounds. I think to order. It arrived in its box. And I just unpacked the box, clipped the dish into the stand, and I think I was up and running within 60 seconds. Honestly, oh, wow. I just plugged it in, connected it. There's a little app on your phone, and it says, this is your new Wi-Fi. Um, connect as, as when, you, when you're ready. And so how much did it cost? There was that initial setup fee, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and then I think we're paying £89 a month, which maybe is a, is, a, is a lot if it's just a domestic setting. You know, if it was just for the children to watch Netflix, it, we, we struggled to just justify yeah, that, of course. But, but for us as a, a as business, you know, £89 is well worth the money um, to us as a business. Thank you for your time, Rion. Hopefully this will be very helpful for other, other people looking for broadband solutions. So, for more information about Starlink and any possible grants which may help you, please go on the links below.